It's beautiful having you here again. This is V-E-R-Y-P-L-E-N-T-T-T-Y. Very plenty. What do we have in the offing today? Weighty and worthy African proverbs. This is the real deal. I am super excited. You are going to see the beauty of African proverbs. We will not rest till your smile begins to laugh. And you exclaim, wow! You are in for serious amusement and amazement. We present two videos every single week. If you miss any, it will pain you. Our proverbs are garnished with rhymes and riddles, idioms and axioms, jokes and quotes like never before. You are welcome. Come in. <laughs> proverbs. He who sees an elephant cannot say he has briefly seen something. A full elephant is the largest land animal in our contemporary nature. It is always associated with something impressive, just like this rhyme. Without being an elephant psychophant, it is relevant to note that an infant elephant is a lieutenant giant. To briefly see a whole elephant in close proximity would mean simultaneously swinging the head from side to side and up and down with supersonic speed, thereby seeing nothing. Upon its colossal size, the elephant is not king of the jungle. The elephant's yeomanship has emboldened poachers to fell them with all audacity and steal their ivory. It is pitiful how elephants, once plentiful, are depleted because of their beautiful ivory. Thieves everywhere, tell me, who needs ivory more than the elephant? Quotes. They say an elephant never forgets. What they don't tell you is that you never forget an elephant. Bill Murray. Elephants can sense danger. They are able to detect an approaching tsunami or earthquake before it hits. Jennifer Richard Jacobson. Of what benefit is size to the elephant when it is not king of the jungle? You should therefore contest for the uncle-in-law of the jungle. Vincent, okay, one, two, two. Proverb, it is from nodding and clapping that one gets busy with dancing. Those who move mountains start by lifting stones. Most big things start small. Nodding, clapping, tapping feet and snapping fingers are all introductions to dancing. Some people dance their best while sitting. An awkward dancer on stage is an embarrassment to family and friends. However, a good dancer will go beyond the prayer mode. He will bubble and shuffle, wobble and tumble, wriggle and jiggle, groove and move, oscillate and palpitate, and more. Most times, we cannot help but put on our dancing shoes and dance up a storm when greeted with sweet success. Those planning to dance on my grave should not disappoint me because I will be buried at sea. <laughs> Quotes. Dancing is creating a sculptor that is visible only for a moment. Errol Ozda. Those who are seen dancing we are taught to be insane by those who cannot hear the music. Frederick Nietzsche. A glance at a fine finance balance a chance to dance in the instance. Vincent, okay, one, two, two. Proverb. When a bird dances on the road, the drummer must be in a nearby bush. The idiom, as free as a bird, does not guarantee the safety of birds dancing on the highway. 
That is stupid boldness. Someone irresponsible must be responsible for it. Hitting two birds with a stone can be literal, thus moving them from dance tutorial to burial. Are birds really free when humans have devised cages? Birds in a cage cry for freedom, but we assume the same. Who's happy in prison? Chicken have really suffered in the hands of men. Imagine rhyming chicken with kitchen where they are cooked. Now imagine this. A mature fowl is called chicken, and so is its meat. Anytime soon, chicks and chicken will mobilize for a fight. The only survivors will be those who know that hence fight is not the present tense of henceforth. <laughs> Birds teach us something important. To whatever height you have risen, you will finally come down to the ground. Mehmet Murat Ilda. I know of only one bird that talks, the parrot, and it can't even fly very high. Wilbur Wright. Birds are skybound, holding them down in the cage is wicked love. Vincent, okay, one, two, three. Proverbs. Nobody climbing a tree requests that hot water be ready for massage in the event of a fall. There is no immunity against accident, but we travel by air, road, and water. The possibility of defeat does not prevent participants from competing. The fear of paying school fees does not prevent bachelors and spacers from marrying and fishing our children. Usually, people do not deliberately plan to fail when climbing up the ladder in any field. When we are optimistic about success, we tend to ignore the possibility of failure. Success and failure are not pari passu. One must take precedence. When you fail, you learn how to right your wrong and succeed. You have never tried it now until you try again. By the way, why have a dumb letter in a word, as in be inclined? What's the use? Are we all right? Shh! Silence, please. <laughs> Quotes. The climb might be challenging, but the view is worth it. Victoria Allen. You cannot climb the ladder of success dressed in the costume of failure, Zig Ziglar. That hasty climbers have sudden falls does not deter climbers from reaching the top hastily. Vincent okay, one, two, four. Proverbs. Certain things must be removed from a carcass before it is eaten as meat. Removing the undesirables from a carcass is not enjoyable to most people. They get jittery as the sight of blood. But for others, it is nothing to fret about. One man's meat is another man's poison. In some cultures, the atmosphere is as rowdy as a blind dog in a meat market. All the lookers and dockers will hardly pass without a fracas over the carcass. Reality is that the blood, bile, excreta, intestines, bones, and more we have to be removed. The meat of the matter is that preparation precedes any meaningful accomplishment. Certain difficulties must be addressed. Only the inexperienced will embark on a task without preparation. You cannot eat an animal with his fur, horn, roof. Are you a hyena? You cannot. Quotes. <laughs> Two things I ask of God today, that my faith be hoisted high like kite up in the sky, and my fear be buried deeply like a carcass into the soil. 
is Remor Ayibo. In a materialistic society, the dead body of a rich man's dog is regarded as a corpse, that of a poor man, a carcass. Mokokoma Mokonoana. It is this man to obtain minimal flesh from the carcass of an animal of a normal build. Vincent, okay, one, two, three. If you are still listening, it means our presentation is pleasing to you. We will also be pleased if you subscribe, share, like, comment, and press the notification to enable us keep pleasing you. Good news is that the ebook from which their bow are extracted is available. To obtain it, type the title Weighty and Worthy African Proverbs on the Amazon Books platform and you are good to go. See you in the next video. Meanwhile, Ogini did it very plain.